take on bird in your black and blue That some old man has given you Do you go outside in the middle of the day Well, just hoping to run away Cause I wanna go where the ocean meets the sky And if you wanna So this month, we're sending the guys out to Chickamauga Lake to fish the hottest new bait out there, the Tennessee Rig. The Tennessee Rig is the three-armed version of the Alabama Rig. And as you can see, CNC carries everything you need to fish the rig. First, you need to get a high-quality rig with the legal allowance of arms for your state and body of water. Next, you want to pair your rig with some swim baits like these. Depending on how deep you fish, you want to use a jig head to match between 1 eighth and a half an ounce. CNC also carries the calendar, so don't forget to grab your copy, along with your rig and swim baits. So let's take it to the lake, where the guys are already out there catching them. Alright guys. This is the second one for me today. George has had a couple today on the Tennessee rig. And man, when they hit it, it's pow. And every one of them got a big belly. This one's probably three. It's probably the smallest fish we've caught today so far. Three, three and a half. But got some girth, but they're all big and so that's why you throw this thing. We're getting used to it. We're trying to figure out exactly how to throw it. You know, it's the first, our first time too. So, you know, by the end of the couple of days of filming, I'm sure we'll, uh, We'll dial it in, but every single one of them is like that. That's why you want to throw it. So, Let's see if we can't keep this going. <laughs> I knew he wasn't hooked good, but man, did he ever whack it. I mean, just kill me. That's, uh, we're trying the Tennessee rig. We're getting a few bites on it. Most of them are quality fish if we can get them to eat, but we'll keep after it, see what happens. George is on again. Every one of these fish, big chunks. Now what we've been doing is most of these fish have just been racking it. I mean, just crushing it. This fish actually kind of nibbled it a little bit more, but he was there. He actually had it eat deeper than any of the other ones that I've caught to this point. <laughs> I don't know how you could complain about catching fish like this on whatever you're throwing. This is, uh, it's getting a little bit later in the day. Water's warming up some. We finally found, I think we've got 53 degree surface temperature right here. And the bite seems to be picking up for us a little bit. We keep catching them, we'll keep filming them.
How the good? The cage hook. He's hooked on the outside. Again, just another good solid chunk. I mean, just <coughs> again, uh, we're just still trying to figure out the Tennessee rig, and it seems like uh, whether we're doing something good or whether we got in the right area, we're just getting more consistently fit. That's five bites in the last 20 minutes. Again, just a solid chunk. We'll take them like that. You had one for chasing it? Maybe this is the catch. It's not a big one, though. You're on go for it. First one of the day that was kind of small. It doesn't usually happen with swim baits. Usually the swim bait's gonna catch the big ones. This is like a 13 inch or <laughs> still got a big belly, but we'll still take it to strikes fun. Come on, George. Dude, this is a toad. He's just foul hook. He's a good he's fish. A good fish, though, but he's real good fish. He's, he's surrounded. Yeah, he come loose. Look at this fish. That's a five. Yep. What we're doing. As we keep monkeying around with this rig, since we're not familiar with it, we just keep changing different types of plastic and trying different techniques. That one actually hit a skinny dip. I've actually got three different plastics on my rig right now. And uh, that fish is probably five and three quarters. I mean, it's just a good solid fish. We've caught several of them today now. It's getting, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun. You need to try the rig. We keep talking about the rig. I don't know if any of you are not familiar with it, but this is basically what it is right here. This is uh, this is an A-Tackle bait, the company that made this bait. It's got an acrylic head, which they come in several different different styles. But obviously in Tennessee, you can only use three bars. But basically that's all it is. You got uh, the, the head where you tie on to. You got the three separate arms. And they come with these little snap swivels on them. And you just add whichever head you want and whichever bait that you want. Uh, Minnow style baits obviously work best. Another right. good one. Again, on a skinny dip. That might be something we need to look at. What, about three minutes since I just showed y'all that last one? <laughs> me, me and McCoy were just talking about it. If you don't throw this, you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. They will eat this. You need to try it out. You need to check your local game laws. Make sure what you know is legal in your in your state. Because Alabama, you're good with five. Tennessee, you can't have them more than three. But check them out. Make sure you're legal. But get one of these and get it tied on because they will definitely eat it. Oh, it's a good one. It's on. Is it on? telling you for the first day we've been fishing this this day was going to be our throwaway day just for us to kind of get used to throwing this bait not a lot of getting used to it really you know you just pick banks that uh, are seasonal for, for the time you know for the time that you're fishing it um, that you would typically find fish on that time of year 
just go down that bank and I mean these this tennis sheet rig is awesome it definitely catches them I mean, it puts you puts fish in the boat for sure you gotta try it a tackle baits give them a shout George is hooked on again exact same cast that I just made back to back fish Dipper, dude. Skinny dipper. Again, a small, smaller fish, smaller than we've been catching. But when you when you when you add together the braid and the leader, I mean the leader wire, everybody's like <laughs> it's like somebody hits you over the head with a sledgehammer. And if you can't if you can't imagine that, walk outside and kick the first tree you see, because it is a solid joke every time. And that, that's fun, even with this size fish. Good morning, Bass Soldiers. So this is uh, day two. The guys are uh, all out on different places in the water today. We're all on our own boats. Um, but basically doing the same thing we were kind of yesterday. Throwing this uh, Tennessee rig. See if we can't uh, keep on them like we were yesterday, just kind of going down some of these gravel wet banks. Seemed to be the pattern yesterday. I'm basically just throwing this rig on this new Bass Soldier Signature Series rod. It's a uh, heavy action, 7 foot 7, 7 foot 8, basically like a beefed up flipping stick. But this is a lot of weight on the end of this, this line with all these uh, these baits. So you need a heavy, heavy stick. Making lob cast. On this uh, new rod from uh, Dixie Customs, this Bass Soldier Signature Series rod is perfect for this. Very good action. Fast tip so you can make good cast, but beefy backbone that you can support throwing up this heavy weight. Let's go ahead and go meet uh, Dwayne from Dixie Custom Rods and uh, let's have him talk to you about what this rod is all about. Hello, I'm Dwayne Wilson from Dixie Custom Rods. Wanted to talk about the new Bass Soldiers line of rods that we're doing. I've actually been building custom rods for about four years and uh, got associated with McCoy and the Bass Soldiers and they asked me to work with them on the coming up with a complete line of Bass Soldiers rods. Uh, one thing we done with this was uh, created uh, the Bass Soldiers graphics and uh, we discussed the different color schemes and we decided on a black and chrome had uh, really matched the graphics on the Bass Soldiers uh, logo really well and it's got uh, the Dixie Custom Rods logo above the real seat. Uh, one thing we do at Dixie Custom Rods is uh, we actually machine all the components to fit the blank. That's one thing that makes these rods a lot more sensitive and uh, a lot better than a lot of the high production uh, big box rods. I'm actually machinist by trade, so one thing we do is actually machine the butt and the uh, the rear grill and the real the real seat just to fit the blank. It's a, it's a tight fit and there, there's no filler added. Uh, where a lot of the big box rods will they'll add filler. They'll use uh, general components oversized just so they can use the same same components on everything and use filler, and that actually creates a lot of dead spots. Another thing we're doing is using the Alps micro guides. It's a very high quality micro guide. It's got a recessed string to where you don't get into the problems with the insert coming out of the ring like you do on a lot of the uh, a lot of the other rods. It takes a lot of weight off the rods and it's a, a lot more sensitive also. Uh, we're going to be doing a complete line of rods as I mentioned so you can uh, get with the, on the Bass Soldiers website. It's got the general information. Uh, feel free to get with the Bass Soldiers guys or myself because uh, a lot of times we do a lot of specific application rods and uh, we can discuss exactly what your needs are and what you're going to be doing and uh, what kind of what kind of blanks we've got available to make sure we can make something that exactly suits your needs. Uh, feel free to give me a call at any time at 865-740-3968 or visit the Bass Soldiers website and uh, we'll take care of your needs. Thank you. Good 
want to. Started slow this morning, not that slow, but slow enough, and uh, <clears throat> seemed like yesterday they wanted a specific bait, but uh, once I put this bastard hitch collar back on, I've caught two, this is the second one, that's every bit of five pound, look at the belly on that guy, I mean he is huge, that's the kind of, that's the kind you want man what this rig does. Look at that guy. He's big. Whew. You better work out. You need to get on a bass soldier workout regimen. <laughs> he just did. Thanks, butter. Brother for coming. Oh man, look at that. Nice one. jig powerhouse jig it looks like a, I think this is the Okeechobee craw color on the uh, powerhouse you got some green pumpkin in there and a little bit of black flake good fish number one keep it going Here we go, guys. Back on Chickamauga with the Tennessee rig. Uh, just getting started. What we're finding out already, though, is that it seems like if you can get on these bluff wall ends where it tapers up and you got just gravelly or rocky little flat banks, this one's got stumps on it. But this is uh, this is actually the third fish I've caught. I just started filming, and uh, it's warming up. It's getting nice. This might be a pretty good day. on one it definitely I think that choose different ones per day you know nice fish man so basically when I'm rigging these baits I've got my quarter ounce bastrix hitch color on the bottom 
the two eighths on the top. And right where you put where your swim bait meets the jig head, I like to put a dab of super glue right there. And what that does is as these baits swim and you're using it for a while, they'll want to start pulling down, or if you've caught a several fish that will want to start pulling down this bait, and this bait won't stay on the jig head. What that little super glue does is it keeps that head attached to the to the jig and gives you better hook sets and better action as you're swimming through the water. The other thing is, <coughs> like we, sh we talked about earlier, this is the uh, new Bass Soldier Signature Series rod. It's a very nice looking rod. Very stiff rod um, to throw these bigger baits. So uh, make sure you when, you, when, you, when you're throwing these baits, you, you've got a good enough rod set up. So keep on. Good one. Just a good chunk. Another toad, guys. Oh, man, a big old chunk. It's a good another five pounder, four and a half. Big boy. Yeah, look at that. Whew. Look how look how they take this bait. I mean it's down their mouth. Gotcha. Whew. Nice fish, man. Beautiful. Look at the belly. Uh, it's hard to beat this bait, man. But I'm learning for sure. If you're not throwing this bait, you're fishing for seconds. Every one of the fish seems to be a good one. You're looking to catch fish. Big bags, you know. You gotta you gotta fish this. of January uh, just caught this pig on a crankbait we're throwing just a 1.5 these fish are shallow we've had a couple of nice days of warm weather and uh, these fish have moved up and you can tell by that belly man they're looking like they're almost ready to spawn it's not even it's not even February yet so we're gonna go release her she's close to probably five five and a half pounds we've already got three fish in the boat today or a little over ten keep it going. She's a pretty one.
McCoy and John went to Chickamauga today. I hope they caught them good. I kind of took a day off and came to watch far. Uh, and I'm kind of glad I did. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the footage of the boys showing you how to use the Tennessee rig. We are now here in Long Beach, California at the Fred Hall Fishing Show. This is one of the largest fishing shows in the country. And here is our booth. We are representing the Bass Soldiers out west. And I actually have to go. The show's starting in about five minutes.